you know, YouTube. Now, I've got two Raspberry Pis. There's one powering that printer. And there's the other one powering the Mendel. I have Octoprint set up on both of them, but they're both kind of different. And I went looking for a way to get them to be the, exactly the same. So I wanted a way to back up the SD card in there. But they both got 64 gig SD cards. And I went looking for a way to shrink those down. Now, just about every single Google result was some complicated as hell method of zero filling most of the drive with zeros and then using DD to image the entire drive and then pipe it through gzip. Now I don't know what kind of craziness that is but there is a way easier method than sitting there zero filling an SD card imaging an entire SD card and then zipping it up on the fly and that method is using gparted g-p-a-r-t-e-d and you shrink the partition down so that there's only a tiny little bit of free space left in it and the rest of the SD card is unallocated so here's my Raspberry Pi the only downside to this is you need another computer running Linux but luckily you already have a Raspberry Pi well you should do if you're trying this so go and grab yourself another SD card it, it doesn't have to be bigger than 64 gig because we're going to shrink that down in my case it ended up being about 5 gig because I've got a bunch of stuff already set up on there so it's bigger than a standard standard install but still way less than an SD card so grab yourself a second SD card put just regular Raspbian on there and you want one well you could probably do it in the command line but no, I did it in the GUI so this is just Raspbian so grab your S. Uh, you also want to install G Parted, G P A R T E D, and insert your Octoprint. This isn't Octopi. This is Octoprint. This is something I'd set up manually with the source files for Octoprint, and it has a whole bunch of different stuff in there as well. So it's not just making a backup of Octopi which, you know, if that's all you want, just a bunch of these things all set up exactly the same in stock format, then just use the Octopi image. But these are all customed with a bunch of other stuff in there that I've stuck in there. So, whack the uh, Raspbian image. Uh, this is Jesse, because it's running on a Raspberry Pi 3. And stick that on an SD card, boot from it put your Octoprint or whatever SD card shove that in a card reader and put it in one of the USB slots of the uh, Raspberry Pi and when that happens you'll get a pop-up message saying you know, you've inserted something what do you want to do with it? you can just close them down and start up gparted you want to type in sudo gparted g-p-a-r-t-e-d and once that loads and does its thing you will want to select the SD card that you want to back up now Mine's made easy because the SD card I want to back up is only 8 gig, So I just select that one. And you'll notice that they're mounted. So you'll want to unmount them first. You could unmount them in the command line before you start gparted, but whatever. 
unmount. Then see how there's a bunch of free space in the main partition. So you want to click on that one. And click resize. And just drag the arrow all the way down until it won't go any further. And then go into the uh, size box. Just add on a little bit of free space just as a buffer. I just added on, I think, 400 meg. Just as a bit of a buffer. So I took it from 3185 to 3585. Hit resize. Or resize move, but we're just resizing it. And let it run. Oh yeah, you gotta click apply. And then it'll say it's gonna lose data, blah blah. And just let that run. If you wanna know what it's doing, you can uh, expand these things out. If you were paranoid, make an entire disk back up first, which would involve making an image of the entire SD card as it sits without resizing anything. But since this is just Octoprint that I set up, if I lose any data, I didn't really care because I knew how to set it up again. But if there's any sensitive data on there that you really, really want to keep, make sure you make a backup first. Just in case. Alright, that's it. We're done. Oh, and before you uh, go to image it, you'll want to make sure you remember those numbers. 4 meg, 56 meg, 3.5 gig the sizes of your partitions I actually forgot so uh, in a minute you'll see me have to go back and see how big they are so now this part makes a backup of what's what's on the SD card so DD now be very careful with this because you can destroy all the data on your disk the IF specifies the input file or input device in this case Dev SDA is my SD card that I want to clone, and OF is where I want to store it to output file. And uh, oh yeah, you'll need to uh, sudo that if you're not running as a root. You uh, need a space in there. sudo ddif the uh, device you want to clone, OF the uh, place where you want to put it. And then uh, BS is block size, which is how many blocks it'll copy at once. I'm going to go 1 meg and count. Uh, this is where I forgot to see how, how big I need to make this image in order to get everything. So uh, back into G parted. <clears throat> Probably another way, but uh, I'm in the GUI, might as well take advantage of it. So I got a 4 meg partition, 56 meg partition, so that's about what 60 meg, and then a 3.5 gig partition. So three and a half, eh? And uh, I uninstalled LibreOffice. Gonna have to find another calculator. Oh, there's one. So we got three and a half gig, so plus uh, what was it sixty meg? So let's go four gig. Uh, actually, no, let's go. Well, yeah, I got three gig plus one gig spare. It should have been three and a half, but whatever. And then times ten twenty four because we're in uh, one megabyte blocks. So I need a count of 4096 to get 4 gigs. So 3.5 gig for the main partition plus 
that's 60 meg so 4 gig will give us a bit more of a buffer on the end just so we don't accidentally cut any data off and this may take a while depending on how fast your SD card is. Mine's, this one's pretty slow. I think it's only a class 4. So, uh, yeah, this took a while. Okay, and we're done. And just ls-lh. The h just means human readable, so we just get like 1 meg, 4 meg, 4 gig instead of just a long string of numbers. And uh, there you can see there's our image up the top. It's 4 gig. And as you can see from Gparted that's still open, we uh, only had a 3.5 gig main partition. So with 4 gig, we uh, shouldn't have truncated anything off the end of that. And now you can go ahead and clone that image onto as many SD cards as you need. Just to uh, sort of reverse the uh, DD command. So DDIF would be the location of that image and OF would be the uh, location of your SD card so that's it that's the easy way to uh, clone a Raspberry Pi image without having to do any complicated thing of zero filling a drive and shoving it through gzip catch you later